YouTube family, we know Little Dirk, one of the main faces of rap in general. Notice I didn't say drill, I didn't say Chicago. I'm talking about rap in general. Little Dirk has reached a place in his life where he has surpassed a lot of his peers. He is no longer regarded only as a Chicago rapper or only as a drill rapper. Little Dirk and his Grammy nominations and also his Grammy victory has proved this man is an artist full time and he is one that's going to be remembered for the longest time, probably two, three hundred years from now. And this is facts. And he's at a space in his life. He doesn't need certain energy around him. Now, there's a lot of things going viral right now where bloggers are insinuating that Dirk and THF Bezu are well within a beef right now and if you don't know who thf bezu is he's one of the honchos of the chicago streets he has a name out here and he's one of the main faces of thf now he has a brother called thf brubra not literally brothers so calm down street brother and his thf used to be former brother aka brubra did a long incarceration in these chicago facilities over a murder you know what i mean and that was being blamed on basil as the one who ratted even though they blamed bra bra for being a rat so it's a he say she say situation right now and one that has bloggers who don't like dirk and all these other people saying a whole lot of such and such so the reaction came from this post right here that dirk put up he said no negative energy around i don't got bs i don't got time for bs going around me i can honestly say i'm back happy and this where i make the best music for the world smirk about to drop soon so this is dirk being in an open mindset where therapy is real out here ladies and gentlemen he lost his brother he lost many other brothers meaning aka family from these streets and just living you know what i mean and dirk wants to be around positive energy i take it as this now i don't think he has anything against bezu but i do know he wants bezu off certain backs and forth with goofy online bloggers i'm just gonna say that you got bloggers who want to fight but don't really want to fight but they put in fake challenges then they're canceling challenges so they can call the other guy a, a, a rat or whatever and the same bloggers calling people rat they rat on the internet every day some of them are informants this is the commotion dirk doesn't want people around him to be around you can't be around a man who found himself and now you're going back and forth with weird old youtube bloggers so dirk posted this a little bit ago and it says we put in therapy back in the trenches we all needed let me make it bigger so you guys can clearly see what i'm talking about dirk wants the old days he's not talking about the murder and all this extra where there was peace and where people had morals ethics and values that no longer reigns here it's in the streets as something that just gets thrown around so dirk goes around people he can trust people who can actually guide to the right situation. So you see them around faces that you think are new faces, but they're not really new faces. They're replacements, no. They're people to bring the peace to replace the negative energy who are always already here, but lights are being shined on them. This is who the leader Dirk is. Now things go a little bit deeper than this. So Dirk started posting more things so you can know where he is. I like this picture he posted and it's letting you know about his moves he has coming up but in the background it looks amazing because the background seemed like that's the thing right there now i seen in the comment section where aokd was like that's the thing that looked like his brother and i seen people teasing aokd and i was sitting back like damn that do look like the thing and it gave me some goosebumps not no weird old behavior and all that goosebumps for dirt that is like this man literally has a lot of pain just like the rest of us that we're going through so the fact that we try to act like dirk is not like the rest of us he's some weird industry plant or plug you got to start looking at some of these bloggers with a side eye like no wonder they don't like you guys dirk keeps it stamped on what he feels he says i'm on all 10 with this dirk hate real blank behind me i got the streets y'all got the likes and subscribers behind y'all 
that's towards all these goofy bloggers and i'm not gonna say their names you know them you got bloggers who want to fight bezu but they cancel it after they do all that woofing and huffing and puffing but these dudes don't come out their house they're in the couches all day you never get to see them in a regular background like us surrounding around the people the people who follow them you'll never see them go to the mall you'll never see them go to the so-called neighborhoods they claim they're from you'll never see anything you don't see them giving back you see them doing drives where they ask their subscribers to give back to them while they're questioning the motives and behaviors of these rappers it's almost disingenuous and it's tasty you know what i mean it's like when dirk flexes his tour with drake j cole and himself it's showing you that i'm above you knee grumps i'm surpass a level where i'm not even supposed to be seen around you type of dudes therefore anybody around me you can associate with the otf brand or the little dirt brand if you're going back and forth with goofy online bloggers and this i stamp and i stand with dirk on that Dirk does another insinuation where he posted, I need a big blank 300 chain. Now, a lot of people are gonna think he's flexing right here and he just dropped this 13 hours ago. This is not flexing. It's letting the world know he's from that 300 grind himself. Even though you see people from that 300 grind not rocking with Dirk a certain kind of weight, well, Dirk is letting y'all know rumors are rumors and drama is drama, but over here, we're gonna be blooded and stamped like we got the same mama, bars, you feel me? And that's what Dirk comes with. That love and that level of understanding what the circumstances is. Understanding the maturation process of growth. You see him in Indy, AKA India, and it's just a beautiful thing. Not because they're a, a great looking couple or whatever, but just because the, the the crowns you guys been through, the trials and tribulations, and you can still wake up and smile and have love for each other. That defeats any negative blogs, any weirdo bloggers who wants to, you got these bloggers on the internet who claim to be tough guys and all that, but all they do is get drunk and yell all day and get extra tattoos and we're supposed to believe them. We don't believe you, homie. Let's keep going. Now, Dirk, stamp it. And that stamp represents a lot of reaction for people out here who need a form of motivation. I'm not out here glorifying rappers and all that. I'm glorifying individuals who grew up and the growth is being seen. The growth is so bright, they can't go back to the darkness. So with that being said, I gotta go to Bezu and say, Bezu, I'm not one of these bloggers who's gonna say Dirk and you got beef. I know your friendship with him is bigger than that. I know real people understand Bezu is not a rat. The reason why you're calling him a rat is because of the talking and the things they say on the internet, meaning that Bezu had you not say certain things about others, people wouldn't throw it your way because they know you didn't rap, but based on your streets philosophy of no talking and you did talk, remember, I don't think you rat at all, but the fact that you even said anything people are running with it as this is a rat motive now and that's the uncomfortable thing about most bloggers now i'm gonna fast forward you got these street bloggers who are not from the street acting like they from the street saying i'm doing this for all you bloggers i'm gonna fight this person and that but for you guys fall back you mean for you because you don't represent me and no way in hell if we was in the same vicinity i would acknowledge you this just being honest that's most of you bloggers i stand on that now fast forward bezu with the heart of gold who's just trying to make a wave for himself as well and he kind of fumbled where he dirtied his face by going back and forth with these type of likes and if you're a real solid dude you wouldn't even have any conversation with most of these bloggers i wish bezu would take his own advice but fast forward to Durkio. keep doing what you're doing man you are the voice of rap music not streets i don't say that anymore you're the voice of growth change and energy I'm DJ Bless, one of the best one, man. With that being said, love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed, I Smoke family. Salute.